Hey, how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And I know this story is a couple days old, but I do want to cover it. And unfortunately, I've been a bit busy over the past two days, so I am just getting it to it now. So my apologies for that. However, Starfield, we know it's coming out next month and there is a bit of hype for it. I've expressed how I don't think it's going to live up to the hype and I think there's quite a few red flags surrounding this game. However, the Starfield leaker has been arrested after allegedly stealing copies of the game. Darren Harris published extended gameplay footage online earlier this week. It was roughly 40 odd minutes he published online on YouTube. So yeah, you can imagine there was a bit of a crackdown on there. Now, I don't want to get too far into this type of stuff, but it's wild how someone who leaks a Starfield game can get arrested, and yet everything else that's going on and not a peep. Anyway, a man who leaked Starfield gameplay went viral has been arrested for allegedly stealing and attempting to sell copies of the game online among other charges. Oh boy, yeah, he was always going to get caught. As reported by Kotaku, we know they're trash, the 29-year-old Darren Harris was booked by the Shelby Country, Tennessee's Sheriff's Office on August 24th. So he's facing felony charges of 2,500 to 10 grand worth of stolen property, a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor charge for one grand or less for stolen property and a misdemeanor charge for mal possession of marijuana. <laughs> Anyway, a few days prior to arrest, he published approximately 40 minutes of Starfield gameplay footage on his YouTube channel. So while Bethesda's parent company, Zenimax Media, did its best to contain the leak, the original video and shorter clips are widely circulating online. Now, I'm not going to show any of the leaked stuff on this video, but that's the thing. Once something leaks, it's out there and you pretty much can't control it anymore. You can minimize it, but you're never going to get rid of it. So Harris later tweeted a video review of the game in which he referred to the Starfield director, Todd Howard, and addressed online reactions on how he had played it. So let's just go ahead and watch it, dude. This has got to be like one of the dumbest criminals. You just stole some stuff and um, put it out online and now you're doing a video of your face on it. Anyway. I ain't mad. Go what happens. <laughs> For real. He's even got the hashtag Starfield. That guy ain't smooth. For all the gamers out there who wanna want a different type of game, that's definitely something to get. Okay. Um, it takes time. You're gonna have to read it. Can't just jump into it. You're gonna just jump around how it was for a minute. Uh, Todd, no offense, man. <laughs> that's a good game. I Perfect timing. It. About leaving the earth and all that. It's good stuff. Pretty swift. Good moves. They were saying I play like a like a beginner. Because I'm not a game expert. I was just trying something out. That's a good game. Y'all don't want to miss that. Starfield for real. <laughs> Starfield for real. So, it's alleged that Harris was responsible for uploading listings of multiple copies of the game, including the $300 Constellation Edition to the Japanese e-commerce platform Mokai, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. How he managed to obtain copies of the game prior to its release is, however, unclear. So, yeah, have fun with that one, buddy. That's a bit of a yike situation, isn't it? But again, the game's coming out in about a bit less than a month's time, I believe. So, those of you who are looking forward to it, you don't have to wait too long. And I do hope you enjoy it. But anyway, you tell me how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.